Hello friend, welcome back. There can be many scenarios and situations where when you want to have the Chrome extension preloaded in the automated browser window which is open through Playwright. So how you can do that, like how you can achieve this preloaded Chrome extension in the Playwright automated window. Let me show you guys here. It's a very simple and straightforward thing. But yes, little tricky. I have written the code and everything already. So you see that here, what you have to do, you have to just add a piece of code in your script just before your test case in whichever file or you can add this piece of code in your common file and uh, you can call that before every test and once you uh, like and then you have the simple test case as you used to write in play, right? Any test case, just that you have to add this piece of code. This I will uh, give in the description as well. This you have to add and then if when you will run the automation uh, like when you then when you will run these uh, playwright code here like this let's say so when it opens the automated window here you can see the uh, selector sub is already pre-installed here you can pin and if you want you can see that right on the context menu it is here and as well as if you inspect you will find the selector sub here so likewise like if you want to install uh, like you want preloaded extension any preloaded extension in your browser window which is open through playwright this is how you can achieve now in this code what you have to uh, what you need to take care about is this the uh, rest of the thing whatever is there in the code that you can use as it is what we have it here just that like uh, this is the path of that uh, extension code so it is uh, better recommended that you keep that extension code inside the same uh, test case folder here like this under this. So this is my test case file here and here you have the, you can see that I have kept the extension code. So this is you can have it here any extension which you want to get the preloaded one. So you keep that here extension code and just pass the name of that extension I mean that folder name here because this inside this there are files so you can just keep it here pass the name of that otherwise like if you are keeping uh, like putting this extension code somewhere else inside any other folder any other directory then you will have to pass that directory the url i mean path of that location where your extension code will be and then you can see that here rest of the thing is same you need not to change anything Yes, here if you are using manifest version 2 extension, then you have to use this one. If you are using manifest 3 version 3, then you can use this one. Generally, like most of the Chrome extensions are now in manifest version 3, so you can uh, keep it right away this one. Otherwise, if you are using the manifest 2, then, then you can just com comment this one and use this one. And uh, yeah, rest of the things are same here. And in fact, if you want to uh, learn and read more about this, uh, you can find it on the Playwright website, Chrome extension. So here, if you go here, official documentation of Playwright, you will find it here somewhere, Chrome extensions, yes. So you can find the same piece of code and more information here, right from their website. So yes, here I have shown you how you can actually put that code in your uh, test and how you can uh, like with the live example because here you will find it uh, the code but uh, yes real example with the running code you can see it here how i have shown you and then you can use it so let me just uh, show you guys once again by running the piece of this piece of code so if you uh, ever uh, want to have this you can just have this and uh, add this piece of code in your uh, playwright script and then you can just simply run it it's a very easy and straightforward right click you can see the extension if any other extension you are adding that you will get it in uh, your uh, automated window open to playwright this we have already have seen a lot in uh, like when you were uh, when we were doing the automation through selenium so in there are also a lot like lots of people used to have this requirement that they want the extension to be preloaded in their automated browser window so same you can have it in playwright as well i hope you find this tutorial useful do let me know if you have any thoughts any recommendation thank you thank you so much please like this video and subscribe to the channel also check out these awesome informative videos and keep watching more videos on selector sub channel thank you